Hello everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks for Geeks problem of the day. And today's problem is maximum diamonds and it is an easy level problem. So the problem is fairly simple and it says that there are n bags with diamonds in them and the ith of those bags contains ai diamonds. So we would want to drop the ith bag and if you do it, we will get ai diamonds and it will convert to the value will change to ai by 2. Right, so they have not mentioned it but this is the floor value of it. I have seen it from the examples, they are denoting it to be the floor value. So these AI, AI diamonds will be added to our total score now, right. So dropping a bag takes 1 minutes and we have to find the maximum number of diamonds we can have if we are given k minutes. So basically uh, we have been given k and we can drop like a bag k times, any bag we want, right. So this is the problem statement says. Now let me just uh, explain you with the help of an example. So what they are trying to say is. If the value of k is 3, if the value of k is 3, you can drop 3 bags, right, 3 bags of any of your choice, n denotes the total number of bags that are present, that is 2, 1, 7, 4 and 2, right, these are the individual values of those bags. So if you have these bags, if you want to maximize your score and if you think greedily, the very uh, first thought is that I would want to take the maximum element by because when I calculate its value, it will contribute a of i to my answer, right. So obviously, if I take the maximum value, maximum a of i will be contributed to my answer. So let's say my answer was initially 0 and I added 7 to it, right. So my answer now becomes 7. I have dropped one back, so my remaining value of k will reduce by 2. So now I have k is equal to 2. They, they are also saying that once I drop a back, a value equals to a i, a i by 2 is pushed back into my set, right. So this will be removed, this value will be removed and it will be converted into a by ai by 2. So now the remaining array will look something like this. So this will become 3, 4 and 2. Now if I again repeat step 1, this, if this was step 1, if I again repeat it, then the maximum value is 4 now. So I will add 4 to my answer and it will become 11, right. Now the remaining value of k will be 1 and if I take this particular element and divide it by 2, so my new array will look something like this, right, these will be the elements. Now again, I have to take the maximum value and answer becomes 14, but the value of k becomes 0. So like even if I try to go further, there is no use of it, but let us say if, there, if the value of k was still non-zero, then it will look something like this. Right. So this element will be divided by 2 and it will be still in the uh, array. Right. So the solution is very simple. At each step, pick the maximum element, pick max element. Right. And at each step, pick the maximum element, add it to your answer and divide it by 2 and then like uh, insert it back into your uh, set or vector, whatever you can call it. So uh, the thing is, you cannot solve it by sorting the array. This might not work. For example, let me tell you why. Uh, let's say you have elements like uh, 8 and 7, right. If you take 8, maximum element, good enough. But when you divide it by 2, it will be converted into 4, right. So now 7 is the maximum element. So you see, after this element, the next element was the maximum element. But let's consider a case 16 and then 2. If you divide it by 2, it becomes 8 and 2 and then the first element sh should still be the maximum element. So when we sort the array and try to take it from one side, it will not yield to an optimal answer because like uh, you are not sure which, at which position the maximum element will be present. So this is obviously not correct. The second option is to use the priority queue or a heap, whatever you can call it. So we are going to use a priority queue or in this case we are going to use a max heap. So the special property of max heap is that the maximum element will always be at the top, max at top. So it's very easy for us to take just take the top element and add it to our answer and divide it by 2 and push it back into the uh, priority queue or max e, right. So this would be the very simple solution of this particular question and you, and you need to use a max heap so that you always know what is in my maximum element present in my array, right. So let us have a look at the code now. So what I've done is I've created a priority queue. So by default a max heap is created. So I can just create the default priority queue and I push back all the elements into my like this particular priority queue. Now I initialize my answer with 0 and while k is non-zero that means the value of k is still remaining. 
I'm doing k minus minus and pq dot size. That means there are still some elements in my priority queue, right? So what I'm doing is I'm just setting my current element as pq dot top and I'm popping it from the priority queue. Now I add this particular element to my answer. And if current is greater than one, why? Because if current becomes one, then current by two or the current value by two will be zero. So there is no use of pushing it back into my priority queue. That is why I check if it is greater than one. Then only I push it back into my priority queue. And then after this whole for loop is over, I can just finally return my answer. So this would be the solution of today's problem of the day. I am just submitting it so that you know that this solution works and it is absolutely correct. So you see that it passes all the test cases and uh, I hope that you guys were able to understand the solution. If you guys did, then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments as your engagement with this particular video really helps the YouTube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and it will be able to reach more number of people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So share this channel with your friends and also subscribe because I see a lot of people who watch these videos have not subscribed yet. So till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.